Stress is one of those things we all deal with, whether we like it or not. Some people thrive under pressure, but for others, constant stress feels like walking around with a weight on your shoulders that never goes away. While short bursts of stress can actually be good for you, like the kind that helps you meet deadlines or escape danger, constant, unrelenting stress? That's a different story. Today, we're diving into what chronic stress actually does to your brain and how it quietly shapes the way you think, feel, and act. Our mission at Psych2Go is to make psychology more accessible, especially around topics that can be hard to talk about. By exploring mental health through research, storytelling, and animation, we hope to bring awareness and validation to what many of us experience, but really get the chance to understand. So let's break it down together. How stress changes your brain structure. When your body is constantly stressed, it releases a hormone called cortisol. In small amounts, cortisol helps you stay alert, but when your brain is bathing in it daily, the effects become harmful. Chronic stress can actually shrink the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for decision-making, memory, and self-control. At the same time, it enlarges the amygdala, which handles fear and emotion. That means you might find yourself reacting more emotionally to things that normally wouldn't bother you. Over time, the balance between thinking and feeling gets thrown off. You're more likely to jump to conclusions, get overwhelmed, or feel stuck in a loop of anxiety. Have you ever had trouble remembering something simple when you're stressed out? That's because stress affects your hippocampus too, the area that deals with memory and learning. Constant stress makes it harder to form new memories or retain important info. It's not just in your head. Your brain is literally having a harder time functioning. Emotional fallout. When stress messes with your brain, your emotions don't escape either. You may become more irritable, anxious, or emotionally drained. It becomes harder to regulate your mood or bounce back after a tough day. Over time, you may even stop recognizing yourself. One study published in Nature Reviews Neuroscience found that chronic stress alters dopamine levels, which affects your ability to feel pleasure and motivation. So not only are you overwhelmed, you may stop enjoying things you used to love. It's a slow emotional numbing. And the worst part, the more stressed you feel, the more isolated you might become. Even if you're surrounded by people, this kind of burnout can make reaching out feel like one more thing on an already overloaded to-do list. But knowing where it's coming from helps. Your body keeps the score. It's not just mental or emotional. Chronic stress affects your physical health too. Studies show that long-term chronic stress increases inflammation, weakens the immune system, and raises the risk for heart disease and even digestive issues. Your brain and body are deeply connected, and stress doesn't play favorites. In fact, you might notice more headaches, muscle tension, or fatigue when your brain's under pressure. These are signs from your body that it's time to pause, rest, and reset. You're not lazy. You're burnt out healing your brain. The good news is, our brains are resilient. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and heal, means that you can recover from chronic stress with the right tools and habits. Things like regular exercise, healthy sleep, mindful breathing, journaling, or talking to a friend or therapist all help restore balance. Even taking five minutes to ground yourself during a hectic day can start a difference. The goal isn't to eliminate stress entirely, because that's not realistic, but to manage it in a way that doesn't overwhelm your minds and body. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for being here with us. At Psych2Go, we're working to create a safe and educational space where people can better understand themselves and their mental health. If you'd like to support our work, we've listed a few ways in the description below. And as always, credible sources and further reading are also included there for you. Take care of your brain. It's been taking care of you all this time.